Hey Valley Middle, welcome to another Daily Dose of Duds. This will be 11.9b, uh, day two. Uh, three things once again. Uh, we've got some DDD work, uh, four blocker, a great new section called Dumb Things Danny Did, and then uh, a Yabbit, and uh, then we've got School G Activity, 11.9b Quiz Prep, and then you'll take the quiz. Okay? There isn't going to be any upload today um, on any of these activities here. You're just going to uh, do the work, um, you know, in your notebook. Uh, basically, it's just a four blocker, and um, you know, the school G activity automatically goes in. So does the quiz automatically go right into the grade book. All right, so let's just take a quick review of what we did before. Uh, you need to be careful when you're finding the volume of prisms to ignore the distractors. Uh, on this uh, triangle right here this triangular prism, a lot of kids want to take and multiply all three of these numbers together. No, find the base. The base is three. The base here, I guess, is three or four, depending upon how you are viewing the triangle. But base times height is right here. Um, this is the hypotenuse, so the long side of the triangle. We don't need that to find the area of the triangle. So multiply three times four, and we're going to get the 12. Divide that by two. We've got the area of this as being six. The height of it here is eight. Base times height, we've got 48 feet cubed. So, you know, the long side of the triangle, uh, the side that is not perpendicular, well, we don't need that. Okay? We need the base and the height. And if it's another type of triangle, let me just grab one right here that's not a right triangle. Let's see if, how good I am here. Here's just a, a regular triangle here, it's an equilateral triangle. They would take and put a little dotted line off to the side or down the middle to show the height. Here's the height here. It show it like this. Or sometimes they go off to the side and they put a line like this. This would be the base, and then this number over here would be the height. Okay, you don't need these these sides here. You don't need that measurement. But we're gonna put them in there, and I'm gonna put them in there. All right. So uh, let's try your first one here, um, and see how you did. All right, well, this is the dumb things little Danny D did. First thing little Danny D would do was just grab a calculator because it's a calculator target, and when you don't know what to do, you just start putting things into the calculator. So you just start multiplying numbers together. So here's a 12, I see. Let's take that times 6 times 3 times, uh-oh, I don't know what to do with this number. Oh, let's just multiply it times uh, 6.7. And you're going to get some answer, and I already know what that answer means because it's wrong. I didn't find the base times the height. Um, the base, sorry, I got the wrong line here. The base is just this area right here, okay? So we don't need, we need the, the base and we need the height to find the area of a triangle. We don't need this long side. So that's the first thing little Danny Dudley would have done that's dumb. The second thing would be, uh, let's just uh, back some stuff off here. Maybe I'll even get my calculator back. Probably not. We'll just throw the calculator up. And then I would just do this. Clear my calculator. 12 times 6 times 3. So if you got this answer, oh, you did one of the things little Danny Dudley would have done. Um, and that's wrong because I, what, I, what I, you found there is you found the area of a rectangular prism. That, but this isn't a rectangular prism. This is a triangular prism. You have to divide that number in half. So let's go back and take a look at it. The base of this is going to be 6 times 3, okay? And that's going to be 18. I got some extra stuff in here because I was typing here. Uh, you divide that by 2, you've got 9 centimeters squared for the base here. Now the height, ooh, sorry about that. The height is... 12 centimeters okay and so the 9 times the 12 that's the big base times the height it's 108 or 108 centimeters cubed now this time instead of writing out the word cubed and squared i used exponents just to show you that when you find that big base that's going to be in units squared the height is going to be linear units or just centimeters but you can think about that as an exponent of 1. So you can see where you get the exponent of 3 when you cube them. It's like the third dimension. All right. Very well, my friend. Let me move myself here. Why don't you try these four problems on a four blocker, and then I'll go over the answers with you, and you'll be ready for your school G quiz. Go. All righty. 
Here we go. See how you did. First one, well, you should have gotten 8 times 9 times 11 for 396. Um, did you divide by 2? If you didn't get 396, you probably got uh, something close to 800. You have to divide that answer by 2 because it's trying to be present. The next one, 9 times 6 times 4. Divide by 2. You should get 108. The next one, 2.8 times 4.5. You can divide that by 2 right now and get the area of the base and multiply it by the height. And what do you get here? Sorry, 337.8 yards cubed. And this last one, let me just put myself up in the corner here. Uh, big base, you find the 3.4 times 2.5 and divide that by 2. You get the area of this triangle, multiply it by the height. All right, let's see. You are ready for your yeah, but. Yeah, but. Ugh. Sometimes we're going to show you a net like this and ask you to identify the volume of the pyramid. Same thing. Let's find the area of the base and we'll find the area of the height. So here it is. This one here, the area of that blue triangle. Make this just a touch smaller so you can see it a little bit better. The area of the triangle is 12 times 5. Base times height, we have to divide by 2, we've got 30. Now, think when you folded these two triangles up, this would be the height of that rectangle, it's 10 centimeters. So base times height, the volume equals base times height, would be the 30 that we had for the base times the height, and 300. I just took and flipped this around and put the volume on the other side, because sometimes we write the formula that way. Instead of big base times height equals the volume, we'll write volume equals Big base times height. All right, here's a pause problem for you to try. If you need a little help, I'll go ahead and put the triangle on there for you so you can see it. All right, well, it's real tempting to multiply these two numbers together here, but actually the base of this triangle is three, okay? So, let's take a look at our work here. We have this 3 here times the height of 4. See the height over here is 4, 2. This one should be moved up a little bit. I guess I can. Base times height, 3 times 4 is 12, uh, divided by 2. 3 times 4 is 12. Divided by 2 is going to give me 6 centimeters squared. The height is 7. Big base times height. So 42 is equal to 6 times 7. All right. Very good. Don't forget school objectivity 11.9B quiz prep. And then go ahead and take the quiz. Good luck. Be careful of distractors and make sure that you're rounding your answer on the quiz prep.